I'll be off then. And um, you've no need to worry about Debbie getting in the way, because I'll be dropping her off at home before the meeting. And I know the contract inside out. Chris. What? The contract. Your meeting's at ten, isn't it? See you. Dennis reckons her teeth are all sound. Oh, good. I'm gonna get going. Oh, can't you stay for a bit? No chance. Debbie, I'm late for my meeting and I promised Chris I wouldn't be. See you later. Never mind, lovey. I'll see her again soon. I know. Do you wish you were still living up at Owen Farm? Is that it? No. Well, it's understandable you want to live with Charity. She is your mum. Do I really want? What? Go on. I want to live with my mum and dad and be a proper family. Oh, lovey, that's never going to happen. Why not? Well, because Karen and Charity, they can't live under the same roof. Yeah, well, it takes a long time for mum to get to like someone. She won't know me when I first came. I'm sorry, love, but you don't know what you're talking about. I do. You're only a child. You can't understand. Right. If they hate each other so much, how come I saw them kissing? You what? Yeah. Two weeks ago, after I'd been fishing my cane. I don't believe it. Believe what you like. But it happened, I'm telling you. I've just had Dawn on the phone. She told me that Scott Windsor's been arrested on suspicion of rape. If you knew how much I've been looking forward to hearing those words. It was the girl he was with in the pub, presumably. How do you know about her? Well, I saw him with her. He even warned her about him. You what? Well, he was bound to do it again. After what he did to my sister. Let's just hope they nail him this time. Yeah, well, you would say that, wouldn't you? He's so arrogant, he thinks he can get away with anything. Well, now, he's going to realise he can't. How do you think Zoe will take it when she finds out? I should hope she'd be delighted. Yeah, but wouldn't it just stir up bad memories? That'll be all for now, Terry. <clears throat> Chris, before you say anything... I had a phone I call at 10.30 from a very impatient client who was waiting outside the haulage office wondering where the hell you were. I know, he So, said. where were you? The dentist. You said you'd get to the meeting on time. Well, we got held up. What can I say? You know what it's like? No, I don't know what it's like. I don't know why you had to take her in the first well, place. let's see, shall we? Because I'm her mother? I think you'd do the same if it were yours. I wouldn't jeopardise an important contract. Well, that's another story. Enlighten me. It's decided not to renew. Brilliant. Not because of this morning, though. What, after the way you treated him? Come on. No, he has not been happy for months. He said so. He's probably been tapped up. Someone's probably made him a better offer. Well, they probably have. But maybe if you'd had your mind on the job, you might have seen it coming. Oh, right. And what do you mean by that? You're never in the office these days. You spend half your life at the Dingles. Oh, and why is that? Oh, let's see. Because my daughter's there. And whose fault is that, Ed? Oh, that's right. You blame someone else. Well, you could have probably talked to the client, couldn't you? Maybe. But I don't think I care. What, you don't care about the business or you don't care about me? If you don't mind, I've got a lot to do. Chris, will you talk to me? Chris! <sighs> Mm, do you want to try one of these? Thanks. Ow. Oh, never mind, love. I'll get you some of those. Lisa. What, love? You know what I said earlier about my mum and dad kissing? Hmm, what about it? You're all right. It didn't happen. I made it up because that's what I wanted. I thought so. Sorry. Oh, you've no need to apologise, lovey. I know why you said it. You're not going to tell her mum, are you? Of course not. It'll be just between you and me. Cheers. You know, I know things aren't perfect, but Charity does love you. And so does Kane, in his funny way. But they never get together. I know. Right, I'll find you something to eat. Yeah. Oh, I love. I didn't expect to see you back today. 
You don't mind me coming, do you? Hello, of course not. I want to get out of the house. Oh. No reason, just wanted a breath of fresh air. I've just made a pot of tea. That'd be nice. Sit mm. yourself down. Thanks, Cheers. You sure you're all right? Well, um... Just caught your car outside. You moving in? Yeah, right. Well, you might as well. Can't seem to keep away these That's days. Really get going. Oh, what about your tea? I've got work to do. No point putting it off, is there? Hey, don't leave on my account. Debs, I'll ring you tomorrow, see how you're feeling. All right. Oh, Charity, look, before you go... Yeah? <clears throat> me and Belle, we're going to Whitby at the end of the week and we wondered if Debbie could come with us. Well, it's fine by me if she wants to go. She does. In fact, she wanted me to ask you. Well, she needn't have done that. I don't mind at all. Should have asked me yourself. <laughs> <laughs>